Hi everyone, welcome to Handicraft Sweet to Z channel. This is just a small off top from the tutorials. Yes, yes, as you can see, that's his uh, ancestor, but not the direct one. But that's the I, I thought to be to make the Irish setter to be my logo. So this was my first Irish setter. Yes. And this is, was the first carpet that I made, well, I planned to make, but since we moved the apartment, part of the loom was stolen. And here is different types of yarns that I've tried. This is the cotton, cotton and acrylic, I think, mixture. This is very rough. Yes, no, Rudy. I know, stop. Yeah, as soon as I start so filming something, he's becoming very jealous. Especially if something comes with Danny. As you can see the difference, this is the, the same shade, but when you feel to touch, this is the wool and it's really hard and kind of scratchy. And this is a soft acrylic, the bobbin one. Not the one that you buy for knitting or crochet. This is the Rudy. The one made for the factory when they joined three or four threads together to, to make knitted stuff. And so I, I found it today. Well, unfortunately, as we were moving from one apartment to another, the part of the loom was stolen. And this is how it left. So I had to cut everything, cut it off. Didn't even finish it properly because I thought that I would just do, you know, pack all the looms, pack the loom back, get all the heddles back, and it will, it will start weaving. But apparently, no. So, this in here, I used another type of uh, borders that called Sunbul, which is the, um, I don't know, how do you call the stem with. Uh, the wheat stem and it looks fancy but it's a bit more difficult to make than smach because you have to plan a bit ahead because you have to make two threads that will be enough just to, for the length of the carpet and anyway this is my first unfinished ca uh, carpet that I made and hopefully in a couple of days I know I plan to make the uh, the pre uh, premiere with the cutting of the carpet car carpet off the loom but we had very very terrible storm and i'm very meteor sensitive person so for two days i was kind of out of this world yeah so for about this rug there were plans to be like four po post, uh, po uh, pole tracks and in the middle would be the picture of four irish puppies and obviously Red ones, Irish red setter, but it turned out to be like this. So if I, if somebody asks me now if what I would prefer, I would say acrylic, because first of all, it's not eaten by moth, which happened just right here. Yes, this carpet is ruined as well. As you can see from the back, there's no difference between wool and acrylic. But, so the next one, next time, when I use all the wool that I've bought already, I would probably stick to the acrylic, because it's nice to touch, very soft, and almost, it feels almost as silk. I've touched the silk, this is something incredible, but yes, between cotton, wool, and acrylic, I would go for acrylic. If you can see this. This is how it goes, it's the separate threads, one ply, but I made them four or five ply to make the tension that I want, which is also a good another, another, another good reason to have these bobbin uh, threads, uh, bobbin yarn, so you can make as, as many plies as you want. And so having just one bobbin, bobbin you can have the... Uh, the wool for the 
70, 60, 50, 40, and whatever notes per square, per four inches. Just add one or two threads extra. So yes, that's it. That's the presentation of my carpet. And I made this pose myself. Made this, you know, this kind of PC stitch pat uh, type pattern makers. Obviously it didn't work well, but I mean, I didn't use the, the pattern maker, I made them myself. But yes, that was the footstep for of puppies. So that's it for today. Hopefully tomorrow will be a stream with finishing the pile of the carpet that I have on the loom. And hopefully on Friday, if there's no other disasters like snowstorm, there will be the premiere on cutting off the loom on Friday. So stay tuned. Bye.